Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is kind of just talk to you a little bit about what is the def what is the difference between an open or a closed point, um, especially when we're kind of looking into inequality. So let's go ahead and graph a number line here. And let's say, you know, I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So the debate is, you know, how do you know when it's open and when it's closed? And obviously you can just kind of look at the inequality symbol and kind of memorize um, that understanding. But And that's okay. But what happens though when you kind of forget or, you know, you get a little stressed out and you can't remember exactly what the difference was or what exactly which, um, which inequality symbol related to uh, open or closed? So therefore, having a basic understanding of why we have open and closed or closed um, uh, will be able to push you through to make sure you do it correctly. All right, so an open or closed dot. Now, if I was going to say draw, plot a point, um, let's say I say plot a point when, you know, this is like a horizontal line. So plot the point when x is equal to, not 5, let's not do that, x is equal to 2. So if I want to represent when x equals a 2, I've got to put in a point, right? So I put a point at 2. Now remember, a point you know, does not have any shape or size. It just represents a location, right? But we know that x equals 2, I'm going to draw that point right there. That, that means at that point 2, x, this is true, right? Well, if I say, what about, now I want you to graph x is less than 2. So that means plot all the points that are less than 2. Well, is negative 4 less than 2? Yes. Is negative 3? Yes. Negative 2? Yes. Negative 1? Yes. 0? Yes. But also, what about um, 0.5 or 1 half? Yes. What about 2 thirds? Yes. What about uh, 1.5? Yes. What about 1.1? Yes. What about 1.111? Yes. What about 1.1111111113347? Yes. So any number that's less than 2 is going to also be true. Right? So to represent that, what we do is you know, we represent this by shading. And we say, well, if you keep on going in this negative direction, it's going to work. However, what about the point 2? Is 2 less than 2? If you have $2, do you have less than $2? No. If you have $2, then you have $2. They are equal in value, right? It's not less than. If I have $2 and you have $2, I'm not going to say you have less money than I'd have. We have the same amount of money. So it's equals. So therefore, at 2, this is now false. So even though any point, like 1.999999999999, is still less than 2, 2 is not less than 2. So that is when we have an open. Anytime it's less than or greater than. So even if I rewrote this as x is greater than 2 and we shade it to the right. Any time less than or greater than is always going to be open because it's false. All right. However, if I simply just draw a line here and say, what about if x is less than or equal to 2? And what that means is the values can be less than 2 or they can also be equal to 2. Well, in that case then, 2 is equal to 2. So, and any one of these points is all less than 2. So now this works. So any time you have a less than or equal to, are greater than or equal to, you're going to have a closed dot. And open is just open, closed, we shade it. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that kind of settled a little bit of the debate and helped you out a little bit with your understanding of what is the difference between an open and a closed dot. Thanks.